I want you to write the word husband down. We, we got to be careful with this. I was looking at this word the other day, and I realized that the power of a man in the family is the key to the family. Matter of fact, the word husband is from two words put together. Write them down. It's the word house bond. One who bonds the house together. If you are the husband, your job is like glue. You're supposed to glue the whole family together. You are responsible for gluing the family together. You are the houseborn. That's why they call you a father. The word father is the Hebrew word Abba. It means sauce and sustainer. Not just the sauce. You got to sustain what you're sourced. <laughs> That's my baby. Good. Are you paying for the school of that baby? Are you feeding that child? Oh, by the way, did you know that women are your baby too? God did not take women from the soil. He went inside the male and pulled out a female. That's what I like about God. In other words, the male came out of the male, but he built the male to make it a female. So a real female is a female because she has a womb to carry the fetus. You are a female if you got a fetus capacity. So you could break your wrists, wear your earrings, have a ponytail, but if you ain't got no womb, you are a brother. Your job is to sustain your baby. The woman came out of man, not man out of woman. Paul was clear. That means the female in your life is your baby. That's why it's natural for man to call his wife baby. It's in your genes. She's your baby. That means you must feed her, clothe her, protect her, counsel her, provide for her, feed. You got to do everything for her. Why? She's your baby. No, all you want is sex. That's your problem. The house should be bonded together by the house bond. The family is like a business corporation. The father is the president. The wife, vice president. The children, the board members. <laughs> Neighbors, clients. <laughs> now, look at those words carefully. You are what? The president. That means you preside. You don't own or control. You preside over the house. Who's your wife? Vice president. That means you don't act without getting advice from your wife as well. Oh, I'm in trouble now, see? <laughs> and your children are on what? The board. That means you inform them of what you're doing and why you're doing it. If you're going to bond the house together, it has to be a corporate effort. Management of the home is the greatest test of a man's leadership. What did I say? I can't hear you. Say it again. Management of the home is the greatest test of a man's leadership. That's why the Apostle Paul says, look, if you want to come into God's house and sit in this pulpit, he says, first you must manage your own home well. There's some men who want to build a house of God but they can't build their own house. There are men who counsel other people's kids but lose their own kids. Some men spend more time with other women than with their wives. And they call it counseling. Y'all don't get quiet on me because I'm going to walk right down there and talk to some of y'all. There are wives who need to make appointment to see their husband. Is your wife one of them? She wants to see you. You haven't talked to her for months. You are the manager of that home. And this is why it's important for you as a man to understand that the family is your most sacred responsibility.